Hey guys, Brian Castro with Better Chest Training. And uh, today I'm going to be covering how to uh, checkmate uh, the king when you have two rooks and a king. Uh, this is some beginner material, but uh, just trying to fill in your knowledge if you don't have this technique down. Um, this is also called the lawnmower mate. And let me show you uh, the basics and how to do it here. Okay, so the general idea is that um, the king is going to be checkmated on one of these um, on the side or the ends of the board, okay? And so the first step is to decide uh, which way, uh, you know, which rank you want or which file you want to uh, checkmate the king on. And uh, in this case, let's say we're going to checkmate the king on the eighth rank. And uh, the first step there is to create a, uh, basically a wall here. Let me just do a little, uh, um, you're going to create a wall along the fourth rank so that the king cannot go back this way. Okay, and let me just uh, make this here. So uh, to do that, you're going to use one of your rooks. Okay, and I'm going to use this rook. So the king, uh, the most uh, resistant method would be to move the king to attack these. And then from here, you're not going to move this rook because you're restricting the king's movement. You're going to check the king here with this rook. Now, if the king attacks this rook, uh, it's very simple. You just move the rook over to the other side of the board. Okay? And uh, the king will uh, try to... Well, let's say he tries to move over here so that you can't get this check in to push him back. Notice that this... Um, this rook is now creating a new wall along the fifth rank. Okay, so we don't want to move this rook. We want to check with this rook. But the king uh, trying to prevent this rook from checking. So what do we do? We just move the rook to the other side. And so the king is going to move back this way. And then we're going to check him again. Again, he can't go this way. So he has to go uh, backwards. We're going to check him again. And hopefully you guys can all see that... Uh, the checkmate is right here, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to just demonstrate this um, against the uh, chess engine. So I'm gonna set up a position, a random position here, and just to demonstrate uh, each move uh, to you and how it could be very easy and safe. Okay, I've set up a position here uh, just to demonstrate that you can uh, really checkmate the king along any of the uh, edges of the board and in this case I'm going to checkmate him on the A file. So the first step now that I've decided that is to cut off this line here and again right now I'm playing against my uh, chess engine so that uh, I can focus on explaining. Okay he's moving towards this rook I'm going to check him here with this rook because I've already restricted him and you can see as I showed you before uh, I can't do this check right here so this rook I need to bring back to this side. Notice how I don't put them on the same uh, file here because they need to uh, move downward together or move towards the left together. Okay, so you can see here uh, that the king is on the B file and that the C file is not covered. So I'm going to cover that file first. So it would be a mistake to check the king in that position. And again, here he's moving in the, uh, he's already moved over to the A file. So again, the key is not to check him here because he'll just move back to the B file. Instead, I'm going to cut this off. And now uh, it's very easy checkmate. Okay, so that is the uh, lawnmower mate. Uh, I think it's because of those lawnmowers that have the, the two blades that go over each other. So uh, hopefully um, it's fairly straightforward for you. I know a lot of my viewers, you will already have this one mastered. Uh, but for my beginning players, uh, something to to know and once you uh, have the technique down it's very simple but it is uh, um, obviously when you are in this situation you don't want to have to think about it too much okay i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you soon hey guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you did please press that like button and if you are new to better chest training uh, this video was for beginners but i also have videos for uh, intermediate players and advanced players as well. And the goal of this channel is to help you on your chess journey to actually be the hero of your own chess story. Uh, and um, I do that in a few ways. 
by helping you to increase your chess knowledge, by helping you to train better and to improve your thinking, as well as to perform better at the chessboard. So if that is something you're interested in, I hope that you will subscribe and check out future videos. Have a great day and the best of luck in your chess.